Hello, my name is Tim Clark, founder of Corazon Oilfield Services. Welcome to Coring 101. This is episode 9, an introduction to wettability. In this episode, I'm going to scratch the surface of one of the most important concepts in petrophysics and reservoir engineering, wettability. Wettability is the tendency of one fluid to spread on or adhere to a solid surface in the presence of other immiscible fluids. When discussing wettability, we are discussing the interaction of two forces, adhesion and cohesion. Adhesive forces between a liquid and solid cause a liquid drop to spread across the surface, while cohesive forces within the liquid cause the drop to ball up and avoid contact with the surface. Wettability refers to the interaction between fluid and solid phases. In reservoir, in reservoir rock, the liquid phase can be water, oil or gas, and the solid phase is the rock mineral assemblage. Understanding the formation wettability is crucial for optimizing oil recovery. The oil versus water wetting preference influences many aspects of reservoir performance, particularly in water flooding and enhanced oil recovery techniques. Making assumptions about a reservoir's wettability, if wrong, can lead to irreversible reservoir damage. In the hydrocarbon reservoir, the oil or gas always shares the pore space with water. Water and oil, or gas, in reservoirs coexist in an immiscible state. The water phase does not mix with the hydrocarbon phase to form a solution. There is natural and strong interfacial tension between the two fluids that keep them separate, regardless of how small the individual droplets may be. To help understand the immiscible nature of these fluids, think of a salad dressing made of oil and vinegar. The relative amount of the hydrocarbon and water sharing the pores of the reservoir will vary from reservoir to reservoir, and this is called saturation, is expressed as a percentage. Saturation is why most oil wells pump not only oil, but also water, or oil-filled brine, which is a very salty water that shared the pores with the hydrocarbon. The fluid that occupies the outside of the pore and is in contact with the rock surface is called the wetting fluid. Sandstones usually have oil in the centre of the pore, and water is on the outside of the pore in contact with the sand grains. Because of this, most sandstones are water-wet. In contrast, limestones and dolomites are usually oil-wet, that is to say, oil coats the rock's surface. The percentage of oil recovery tends to be greater in sandstone reservoirs than in limestone reservoirs. And this is simply because the fluid in the centre of the pore will flow easier than the fluid on the outside of the pore that is being held to the rock by surface tension. Often you will find the wettability is treated as a binary switch. The rock is either water-wet or oil-wet. This is an oversimplification of the complexity of wetting physics in reservoir rock. In reality, wettability is a continuous spectrum with strongly water-wet and strongly oil-wet at opposite ends. In homogeneous, porous materials saturated with oil and water, strongly water-wetting describes one end member of a continuum in which the surface strongly prefers contact with water. A strongly oil-wetting surface prefers contact with oil. To make things easier, we will now touch the major states of wettability in which hydrocarbon reservoirs exist. The first is strongly water or oil-wetting, that is, at one or other of the extremes on the spectrum. Neutral wettability, there is no preferential wettability to either water or oil in the pores. Fractional wettability, the reservoir has local areas that are strongly oil wet, whereas most of the reservoir is strongly water wet. This usually occurs when the reservoir rock has variable mineral composition and surface chemistry. Mixed wettability, smaller pores are water wet and filled with water whereas larger pores are oil wet and filled with oil. Residual oil saturation is low, and it occurs where oil with polar organic compounds invades a water wet rock saturated with brine. When trying to define wettability, the contact angle of liquids is used. The arrows represent the tangent to the angle between the water droplet and the rock surface. The water droplet is surrounded by the oil phase, and on screen we have the three most common categories into which wettability is classified. Image 1. Reservoir is said to be water wet, that is, water preferentially wets the reservoir rock when the contact angle theta between the rock and water is less than 90 degrees. 2. Neutral wettability would exist when the contact angle is 90 degrees. And 3. Oil wet occurs when the contact angle is greater than 90 degrees. In this episode, we only scratched the surface of one of the most important concepts in core analysis, wettability. In future episodes, we'll look at methods for measuring wettability and go into more detail on the impact wettability has for hydrocarbon recovery. However, in the next episode, I'm going to talk you through the process of a coring operation at the rig site. Thanks for listening.
And before I go, I'd just like to say, if you've enjoyed this video, then please feel free to share it, subscribe to my channel, and also visit corazonoil.co.uk using the links that have appeared on screen.